Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, the Oprah Store. Love what you got is one of Oprah's favorite sayings. The question is whether people are saying that after they've left her new store in Water Tower Place. Retail analysts say the recently opened outlet undercuts the queen of talk show TV status as a tastemaker. Instead of finding some of Oprah's favorite things, luxury items like cashmere sweaters, instead they are met with O-logo bags and luggage tags, basically a bunch of souvenirs. Retail consultant James Dion was shocked when he first found the 138-foot kiosk. It is really frightening, disappointing, uh, whatever. I mean, I've, I've stood by it and I've heard customers, you know, literally think, this is it? A Harpo spokesman tells Cranes that the idea for the Water Tower store was to expand the brand's footprint in Chicago by offering another location for fans, and that if people like what they find, quote, we hope they will visit us at our flagship location, end quote. The 5,500-square-foot main store in the West Loop across from Harpo Studios does offer more expensive products like cashmere and African art, while also staying fully stocked with souvenirs like keychains and t-shirts, the original intent of the store. At Water Tower Place, though, Dion says that Oprah should have opted for a store more like American Girl. I think you can have that same kind of an experiential store for adults. So many products that Oprah has talked about and, and rightfully introduced people to that they might not have heard about, read about, whatever, and, and she brought them to them. I mean, what, what better place than to bring them all together where, you know, customers can really experience it and, and, and just have this amazing, amazing Oprah experience, particularly in, you know, her hometown. The Harpo spokesman would not discuss with Crane's future retail plans, but industry experts say the potential for an Oprah retail empire is unlimited. She has a very powerful brand. I, I think she, if she wanted to, she could make and have some exciting retail stores that would get her brand and products out to more of her consumers that love her. She probably has a huge international opportunity around that too. It takes talent, it takes resources, it takes people who understand retailing. The culture is quite different from brand building and manufacturing, so you'd have to put a whole new structure and team together, and there are risks with that. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out this week's print edition of Cranes or chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.